Ahí ven nada más. I recently tried some DIY and I thought if it's already broken, then it can't be broken anymore. So I decided to try and fix my drone by myself. But first, a little backstory. Let's go. Uh, I was meant to, I was meant to cover the uh, camera and then do like some little trend. Mm. Uh, we can do this one. Did it happen? It was 2018, and let's be honest, I was a bit silly on the mountain sometimes. But I had just got back from living the best life I ever had in Canada. But I was going back to Australia to live with my mum, and I just had like nothing to do. My mum had given me a camera for my birthday, but I really didn't know what I was doing with it. Like, at all. But it was something interesting about it for me. And from there, I started making small movies. I started out making cocktail videos for a bar I managed, and they were like real popular. It's much higher quality than triple sec. 45 mils of cranberry juice. And then I thought, maybe I could give like vlogs a go. Hi guys, uh, today me and Yana, in all this craziness, are gonna make some fucking breakfast. Hey guys, Cody here. Take 25. Enjoy. But once you start making videos, you realize there's something missing. And that was the drone. And that was something I needed desperately. I was starting to really get the hang of the drone. And then I was at like this goulash festival and then I just destroyed it. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So I thought maybe I'll try a little DIY. Like trying to fly this bull shot. I actually broke my drone. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, time for the DIY. But when it comes to DIY, I am not the man to call. I repeat, I am not the man to call. But I just went to the shop, I got some super glue, I already had some pry tools and small screwdrivers, and I've got one broken drone, so we're gonna give it a go. Step one, remove the four screws that are holding the top shell in. Sounds easy? You bet you goddamn... No, it's not easy at all. Help me someone. It's actually uh, so much harder to unscrew than I thought. <gasps> I don't want to break the screw. That's the problem, eh? I don't know. That's such a good idea. Oh, my hair is annoying me. I need to fix it. Whew. One sec. That's better. That is much better. Okay. Uh, so. I don't know. They're so fiddly, these little things. It worked. We got uh, one screw. One out of four. Patel, please. Oh. Thank you. Get it out of here. Okay, so the camera is like flying around heaps. I'm gonna tape it up. We have three more screws to go. It is so hot. Number two, man. My goodness is hard. Spit down. Thank you. Oh. Get out of here. Four screws out. All right, we're gonna take the top off, see if we can glue this camera together. You found it, Jill. We're in! Step two, we're going to remove the rubber holdings that stabilize the camera. And it's actually quite easy, you just kind of like push them out 
It's when you need to put them back in that makes uh, all the trouble. Step three, take out the screw that is broken in the arm of the camera and figure out how to put it together. And this, I just don't know. Now to explain it a little bit better, uh, there was a, what's gonna call it? And there was a tiny little threaded piece of metal and that went into the thing that takes the pictures. Anyways, I took the little metal thing with the threads, I took it out. And then there was this thing, what you might call it. So I went to the garage, I got a thingamabob. And I was like, oh, maybe the what you might call it can stick to the metal threaded thing with this thingamabob. So I was like, cool, let's do it. But the problem was that this thingamabob was too big. So I had to smack it with this metal thing. Bang, 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 until it was flat. But still, you know, it's too big. So we had to make it a little bit smaller. So I grabbed these two pieces of metal joined in the middle and I cut the thingamabob to size, boom. I put the metal threaded thing into the whatchamacallit, which connected to the picture thing that makes the film. And eventually, it just this tiny little top part, it sat over the top of the threaded metal thing and went straight into the whatchamacallit. And the thingamabob really saved the day. So I hope that really, you know, demonstrates how the whole process worked. But anyways, you can see what it looks like in, in the end. So, here. Well, I don't know if I can zoom in there. So that little new piece of metal, can I point to it? Yeah, I made that. Three attempts. Very frustrating, but I made it, but now, Now it's back on. A little bit of glue, and let's see how it goes. There are some great moments in life, and uh, I think nothing greater is when you can fix something by yourself. Well, at least I think I can fix it, I don't know. What we got? Oh, memory card, bang. And uh, I really did not have enough money to buy a new drone. So I thought maybe I could just try and fix it. Uh, maybe I've been living a life of, uh, of wastefulness and always buying something new. Maybe I've learned a valuable. Maybe I've learned a valuable lesson today that uh, maybe, just maybe, sometimes you can fix it yourself. I've definitely learned that since living in the Czech Republic. People are so handy. People know how to do everything. Maybe not. That's, that's, that, that's moving. Oh my God! Hello, my friends. Everything seems fine. We're back! Woo! We're back in the game. Can't wait to take her out. There we go. Just one simple little metal bracket and everything is fixed. I'm gonna go take her out for a spin. That's so exciting. I'd like to introduce to you my new uh, 
new main, new main character in my vlogs, my uh, Babetta, which is a Czech moped. But that is a story for another time. But we're gonna go on some great adventures. Can you see him? You can hear him. All right. One, two, three. <laughs>